Hello, camp leaders. My name is Rory Thompson. I am a hopeful camp counsellor candidate for 2020. Um, currently, I am a um, business uni student at Oxford Brooks University. First year going, okay, yeah, can't complain. Uh, furthermore, Bit more about further, furthermore about me, I am a keen sailor, as you might have seen in my um, in my skills list in my um, CV. But for, uh, but I think I should tell you more about it. I started off in in like um bucket boats. I'm not entirely sure what they're called. We we were always taught. They're called bucket boats or bath boats because the the lilac baths. That's, that's why I learned. Then I after that, after I got the basics of it, I ventured on, on onto the fever with, with my brother. We went racing one uh, year, and I got hooked onto sort of the style of fever racing. And after the next year, I'm a little bit older, I started going on bam bam by myself. Through bumps and even though I had the mast and the beam not working or collapsing while I'm sailing or just full of sand, salt water, through the bumps and scratches, falling off a boat, daggerboard almost falling out when we turtle in a storm. I have learnt the hard way, but still, I have learnt a lot, and um, I'm looking forward to possibly. I'm looking forward, if I get the chance, to teach kids how to sail. It's good fun there. I'm also an avid photographer. I did it in my GCSE, and also I do it as a hobby. It's it's always good fun, you know. So it's always good to try and get the perfect picture. I'm also quite an adventurist. It's on the low key. I climbed the height of Kilimanjaro, in, in which is a huge mountain in South Africa, in the Snowdonia National Park in five days. I did it for charity and I raised over two thousand pounds for water aid. Further on. From that I also did a tough mudder challenge and I got a funny story about that uh, it was one of the obstacles I think it was the third one and it was called the ice bath I think in, it involved ice and me going into it swimming under tires freezing my body like literally when you're in the cold your mind just goes doesn't exist you can't think you're so cold but yeah if you're so fresh you, your body like it's the shock that you're so relaxed. And thank God, it basically froze all my muscles for the rest of the run. So I was pretty good for the rest of the trip. Now, I will now show you some photos of these experience. Um, just, just to pre-say, these were taken by my mum. So, <laughs> now nah, she's with her not always being around me when I'm doing these things some some pictures might not be there and some pictures might, some pictures might, might be there so I await your uh, proposal to me and hopefully you accept me anyway but I want to say thank you for the opportunity and well, yeah. Goodbye. Enjoy the photos.